Hi there, this is Drew. Welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to be making this um, bowl die. It's like a little file. Um, it's got little um, round clips, like a ring binder sort of file. It's A5 size. Um, I have got some paper to go into it um, and some dividers. It's actually a gift from my daughter. Um, so I've made up some resin. I hope I'll have enough, but it's just something that's left over from another project. Um, so I'm going to split the resin into three cups. And I'm going to be using um, a pink holographic glitter. I'll show you the glitters. All three, all three are going to be glittered. Um, I've got I've got a pink holographic glitter, um, a Larissi translucent blue, um, and a Hemway um, silver holographic glitter. Um, I just need to get some more stirring sticks. Just let me grab some more. So, so I'm going to add the Hemway to the first one. That's the silver holographic. I know it looks dark, darker in the cup but that's because I like to reuse the cups. So it's got some darker dried resin in which is the same for all of my cups actually that I'm using today. Um, even though the disposable cups I do like to reuse them over and over again. There's the silver. And then the pink. Nice chunky on the pink. And then translucent blue from the Rissi. going to pour them in in stripes really keeping my fingers crossed that I have actually got enough resin or I'll be bobbing off to mix some more so let's start with this one Crazy blue one. Which I am going to be mixing more of. And so the pink. Which again I am going to need to mix more of. Like I say, it's just resin that I'm using from that I've got left over from another project. So I'll just mix a bit more resin and then I'll be back with you. Right, sorry about that. I know you should always go with your first hunch and if something tells me I haven't got enough resin mixed up then I should believe myself that I haven't got enough resin mixed up. Um, so I have mixed some more resin up. I've added the glitters so back to the pour. Put a bit more in turquoise into this one. Try and bring the pink down a little bit. Too much pink. I'll just finish off with the pink. Thank 
silver. I love this holographic silver, it's one of my favourite glitters at the moment. Oops. So messy today. Just help this to spread out a little. I like this little mould, it's handy because it's got the um, the little dots cut out for the ring but for the um, ring holders, the binder holder, binder clips, whatever you want to call them. They're already in there so that they just clip through when it's finished. I have made a few of these, um, lots of different patterns and different colourways. I do like making these. Right. Okay, so there we go. So I'll be back tomorrow once this is set up and we'll be ready for the demolding. That's a nice straightforward one. See you soon. Bye. Hi, welcome back. So my ring binder moulds all cured up now. Try and get it the right way around. Um, so it's time for, to demold it and put it together as a ring binder. I've got blue ink all over my fingers because of the last project that I've just just been doing. A little bit of overspill that I need to deal with around just around the edges but I'm happy with that it's a little bit bendy still so they go together like that with the papers in the middle so I'll deal with the overspill um, I'll just sort that and then I'll be back to show you how I'm going to put it together Okay, so I've now got the file all put together. Um, I've got these little ring clips that I got from Amazon um, and I've got some subject dividers and the line paper that I also got from Amazon. Um, so I'm happy with that little project. Um, I hope you like it and I hope you'll join me soon for another project. Bye!